Hey guys, in this video we are going to create a server using Express library. Right now I have created the file app.js and I'm going to initialize npm into my folder using npm any dash y because express.js library is going to install from npm. So now we are going to install npm uh, we are going to install express.js library npm using npm install and saving dash dash save and express in the meantime we are going to create a const let's say express and requiring the module express and on also an app const which is going to use express as a function and app is going to listen to a port number let's say 3000 so that's it the server has been created and you can see that express library is also being installed here so for convenience I'm going to start the server using a node one and the file it is node one app.js and now we are going to see what how this express works. Well express uses a concept called middleware. Well each request is going to go through the middleware and response is going to set through from it. So it uses a set of middlewares. So now we are going to see how it's been done. Let's, so let's say app is using a function that's that's the use function, and it uses a request handler for this. Let's take three, two arguments necessarily. That is request response, and the next is a next function which is used for sending the next middleware to sending the funks to sending the request to the next middleware so how it's being used we can see through by creating a new request and uh, next and now if i console here that let's say first middleware first middleware and let's say here console log second middleware second middleware and if I run this file you will see this that this only file will be run this only middleware will be run this will not run so for executing after this middleware to this the next function is used but let's see what will happen right now so let's npm start this file not bone is starting the file and let's say localhost 3000 and right now there is no response is being sent so it's like handling the response so this is the first middleware first middleware so if i write next here you will see that if i refresh the auto restart and node mode you will see that if i again localhost 3000 you will see the first second middleware is being run that means this middleware then after this middleware but if i select the page like slash product paste this will also go to this middleware and if i select slash soft paste this will also go to this middleware so for selecting a uh, specific paste we are going to use the route concept here so before request before a callback function there is a route options is being here used so if i let's type add product here and here 
less because it's going to be on home page and we are going to remove the next because it's not going to be executed after this middleware to this so now let's response back to with a uh, HTML tag let's say here a form tag so now I'm going to create a form tag which tags input let's have a type let's call text and also a name let's call title and this is a uh, wrong because we are we are going to use inverted and also say inverted and now also a button is being used here and it's a submit button and also we are going to send back this result using the action to a product product page which is a method post so if this will run then it will go to the product route so we are going to create a new route let's call it app.us product which takes request response and next and it's a callback function and it will redirect to sorry uh, it will response back with a redirection to a slash page and also we are going to response back with uh, h1 tag like hello from express js now if i save this file and if i go to the localhost 3000 page it will say local hello from express js and if i go to the add product add product page it will show the form tag and if I type books and it submit it will go redirect to the express JS file now what's the re response sent back with the form tag well it's a post page and it will send to the product page product route so if I see what's the request get into get into the body so that can be seen through request at body but it will not give the correct answer that the correct solution that is required here so if I see add product here and go to the books type books here you will see that it gives undefined well the response is being sent to through a JSON format so we are going to use another functionality that is given by express that is express dot url encoded with extended true now if i type this and and if i go to the add product page and if i type books right now you can see that it gives the console the request at body file we can also send file through the response so let's create the uh, files uh, html files so let's say views we are going to create the views folder in which there will be a product page let's say product dot js uh, sorry dot html and another one is sop dot html and 
so i have created two files that is product.html and shop.html the same way you can create into your own laptop or desktop so the functionality is we are going to use here like uh, we are going to remove the response.send method and we are going to use response.send file so how it's being used here well for uh, using this we are going to use the core module that is part here and we are going to get from part and this is used through a part dot join is going to join the directory part that is where is the product or HTML set so we are the dir name that we have used is going to give the directory name or the full part of the express demo and we are going to the views folder and it's going to select the product dot html page and for this page for this middleware we are going to send the file We are going to send file using part dot join and using the dir name and go to the views and selecting the sop dot html file. So now if I now if I run this file we are going to see if I go to localhost 3000 and select add product is going to go to the add product page and if I type again books here you will see that it is going to redirect to the localhost 3000 and say the title is the book but you can see that if uh, all the functionality is going to the in the one file it's going to get very lengthy so express provides an another uh, module or uh, a function that's called router which is used as a mini express for the folder for uh, functionality so if i create a like folder like router because this because we know that this is used for a product page and this is used for a home page so we are going to create a folder for this or a file that is that all the functionality will be reside on that file and this fun, uh, this functionality will be reside on one file so let's say here like uh, say product dot js and here also new file shop dot js so for requiring the router function we are going to import the express module for express module to require we are going to use express and for requiring the router let's say the name will be router and we are going to use express dot router for this this will not be changed this is fixed so now if i cut this lines from here and paste into this file and let's say and let's also change the name app to the router also this one to the router now if i module use module dot exports and export the router file from here and also for the app we are going to cut from here 
and uh, paste into the sop.hjs file and also require the same functions same libraries like express and also requiring the router from express using express dot router also changing the name app to the router and also exporting this one the file export module dot exports and we are going to require from here so let's say const product router is going to get required from dot slash router slash product and also const so router from requiring the file from dot slash router and soap and after that we are going to use the router here app dot use product router and also the soap router and all the files are being saved and now if I run again localhost 3000 it will give the same thing and if I type again books it will give the books so this is the basic of the express js and it will come very handy in the next video so thank you